for both of you. Incredible. I mean, it's Monday morning now. We're sort of all bleary-eyed coming back to work off the back of a weekend. How does it feel waking up on a Monday morning and being a Wimbledon champion? Oh, it's incredible. I think I'm probably a little bit more bleary-eyed than everybody else because I had about half an hour sleep last night after all the celebrations. But, oh. uh, no, it was an, an amazing weekend and, yeah, I, think, I don't think it's still fully sunk in yet. What about you, Alfie? Oh, the same. I mean, to be in my first doubles final and to get the win with Gordon, yeah, it's just an incredible feeling. So, have you watched any of it back? Yeah. Uh, as soon as I got back to my room yesterday, I went on BBC iPlayer looked on our match, watched, I think, the first game, and then went, ah, I'll skip this, go straight to the tie-break, which is the important part, obviously. <laughs> and, um, yeah, even watching it was just nerve-wracking. Could you remember it all? I mean, because I, I, I don't know, uh, obviously, never be, done anything like that before. Uh, uh, when you're in it, you must be analysing every shot, thinking about it completely, but I just wonder when, you've, when you finish, it, it's all sunk in, what you actually did. You said you didn't even remember who hit the ball in the last point. Yeah. I didn't, I I'm like, I do, I hit a serve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure on you, I mean, this is, this is your moment. You're, you're a tennis player. It doesn't get bigger than a final at Wimbledon. So how do you remain calm in that situation? Yeah, I mean, I do a lot of preparation with a sports psychologist uh, back home to, you know, just keep focused and have little routines that you go through all the time that, you know, try and block out all the distractions around you and just focus on, you know, little things to help your performance. And when you practise that all the time, uh, hopefully when you get to the big stage like Wimbledon and there's a lot, of, a lot going on around you, the big yeah. crowd, you can just zone in and, and treat it like any other Should match Should we have a look at that, uh, that winning moment? A million times really since the, since the match and it still gets love you. every time. And, and on your laps, you have proof. Um, so what, uh, what do you get? What do they, what do they give you? You've got, you've got two, of course. Yeah, we'll come yep. to the second one in a minute. Uh, well, we get a nice little plate which is engraved. It's in a beautiful box. Oh, look at that. So tilt that one forward. Well, that's my singles one, actually. OK. You just, you're <laughs> like that. Was that your singles one? That's my singles one, yeah. Because, of course, that's right, you weren't just a, a the doubles champion. You also then went on the next day. So you couldn't even just celebrate that night and think, right, I've done it. You had to get your head down, go to bed early, because the next morning you were waking up to take part in the singles. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean... You know, it was such a such an amazing day, such an amazing experience to to win it with Alfie, and then I had to to try and reset, refocus, go home, uh, recover, and try and chill out and and get a good sleep before the singles final the next morning. And you did it. And I, that, I honestly don't know how we done it because <laughs> after after our final, I was gone. So I can't imagine how he was feeling, <laughs> knowing that he had to play a final the next day. Definitely, congrats to him. Yeah. Let's uh, let's have a look at yours as well. Yeah, that way you can see all of this in its glory, all its shining glory. It's the same Look at it's that. Mm, if you tilt that round just a little bit, then we can see uh, other way. That's, that's it. it. That's see what's it. On it. Yes. That looks absolutely beautiful. That's so cool. you don't get to keep the trophy then? We'll get no. to keep this. We get to keep these, and our names are on that trophy forever. So. Yeah. Where does it, it especially for you, uh, Gordon, uh, having as we just said, then you sort of playing the doubles and then you're going straight into the singles. Where where does it get you? Is it is it because you're Playing and manoeuvring, so is it shoulders or hands? Uh, it's the back of the shoulders, uh, and for me, the lower back a little bit as well. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's tough, the sport's tough on the upper body all the time, but on grass it's even harder because you've, you're basically pushing in with, resist with resistance because, mm -hmm. you know, the grass's a little bit soft and uh, the, the wheels kind of sink into the grass a little bit, so, I mean, it's tough because you never keep that momentum rolling in the chair. And also, I guess you have to sort of predict where the ball's going to go because you can't change position last minute. So you must just be, get very good at sort of judging that. Yeah, I think anticipation was, was huge this week in, in everyone's game. Uh, me and Gordon have done quite a lot of analysis against the uh, French pair. So I think anticipation um, definitely helped us yesterday in knowing where they were going to go and, and yeah. giving us that kind of extra edge in, in getting to the ball. Yeah. You must um, obviously realise the, the pressure on your shoulders f for being inspirations, for, for encouraging a whole generation of, of youngsters um, who may find themselves, in, for whatever reason, um, in a wheelchair or whatever, with a disability of some kind. And you think, right, look what's possible, look what you can do. Yeah, I mean, we get asked that quite a lot now, and, uh, you know, it's always quite humbling for us to, to be thought of as, as role models. Um, I said before the start of the tournament and, and my speech afterwards as well that, 
you know, if there was two things I could get out of this week, number one would be to inspire more kids with disabilities to take up wheelchair tennis or any disability sport, because um, that's it helped me so much in my life. And the second thing was to break down those barriers when it comes to disability and how disability is viewed. I think the way that our sport's been uh, supported this week and how much people enjoyed the high the high level of performance mm. sport has uh, you know just helped with that massively. And so the next stop for you two is Rio. Yes, definitely. Together. Yeah. Yes, we're so going this... to be partnering each other. Fantastic. And how are you feeling about that? I mean, this is a good way to get <laughs> into that competition, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, it's perfect preparation. Uh, like Alfie said, that's the first time we've beaten the, the French pair. We haven't found that out yet. Oh, okay, because I just wonder whether you can just discuss <laughs> tactics like can right right up until the match. Yeah, oh, well, we'll we'll be meeting up before yeah. each match and, and going through. We do that pretty much every every match and every tournament. We so. must know each other really well now. Yeah, we're starting to. Yeah, I mean that's two or three years now. We've been playing a lot of tournaments together and and training a lot together. Like Alfie said, a lot of analysis work and yeah, you, you've got to try and know each other as as, as well as possible so you know exactly yeah. where each other is going to move on the court. Well, we're so proud Gosh, of you. Well and thank done. you so much That's for just taking time thank to you. come in here. Thank you. Us. Good luck at the Olympics. Great to meet you. Well done. Thank well you. Done. Hopefully, thank at the end of the Olympics, you'll be back here with with another medal of some sort. A gold one. Yeah. yeah that'd be nice. Absolutely. It's thank not very you. Often you get thank two you. Wimbledon champions in one studio, is I'm it? Very honoured. Good stuff. Hello, YouTube. For more of the same, just click here, and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. When things happen. You open beer bottles, you cut yourself. Uh, I accidentally punched him in the face once. Uh, you know, it, things happen. I mean, that's, so... that's actually not the worst thing that happened because you threw up on stage, didn't yes, you? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I Although that story the punching actually was worse. Um, yeah. I, was, <laughs> I was there for both, and I can assure you. <laughs>